It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. Play clock ran all the way down there, and this is going to cost the offense. Delay of game, offense. Can't get the playoff in time, and I'm going to wager the call is going to come in much quicker, Brock, for this next snap. There you go, set. Play action on first down. As his man, it's the Michigan rookie. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. They get 22 on that one. And it'll bring up a Minnesota first down. They're throwing it. He'll get this to Jefferson. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable. And it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and one. Rolling out to his left. Giving three on that game. And that's going to give the Vikings the first down. You know, that's one of those little mental Rolodex plays. Right before the snap, you know if the read isn't there, that option isn't there, you can use your legs to make the adjustment and go get the first down. Throwing deep for the end zone. The shot downfield will wind up incomplete. The trajectory of that ball changes while it's in flight. I'll tell you this, Kate. On shorter throws, these receivers are so good to adjust can still bring it in. But over a long distance, a tip like that alters the course of the ball. And it sure makes it tough to adjust in time. He had it for a moment, but a complete defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Well, that was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover and provide the hit that dislodges the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. And make a big turn on the ground. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm. Especially in a situation like that, it's a good thing you woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep it moving forward. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. Left the offense out there on fourth down, Brock. And look at the result. A big game. They got 15 and the first. Working inside the red zone. Looking touchdown, but can't connect. Took his shot at six that time. So it's second down coming up. Throwing now, off play action. Bails out of the pocket quick. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Back to throw. He rolls to his right. He can run it. It's a double-digit game, 10 yards, and now they've got first and goal. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. Flush down out to his left. Avoid some trouble there. 
And that play is brought to a halt, they're going to say, at the five-yard line. Just not much to do right there, whether he wanted to run it or throw it. Even if he scraped a positive gain out of it, that's still a win for this defense. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. They'll throw it. Flushed out of the pocket. Sheds up a rush. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Minnesota. The Vikings finish off their opening drive. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, Turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? Trying to throw here out of the gun. He puts some air under a deep throw to the left. And it falls incomplete. Went for the deep ball there, but just couldn't connect. I mean, you could see it right there. The trajectory of the ball changed as it was in flight. You know, on shorter throws, receivers, they could focus, they could adjust quickly. But on a long distance throw like that, a tip, well, it really alters the course of the ball and makes it so tough to make an adjustment in time. And he's down. Looks like they made the stop at the 46-yard line. A gain of 27 yards there. And it'll bring up a Minnesota first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him all.
It's cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. They go play action on first. Gets this to Johnson. And he'll go down here at the 16. It's a 30-yard play, Brock, and they've got a fresh set of downs. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and 10 from the red zone. From the red zone now. The throw is caught. And they're going to get this down to the four before being stopped. It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards them with a first and goal. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Now McCarthy. Escapes out to the left. It's one of those situations. Not much to be had there, no matter what he did with the ball. Even if he scraped a positive gain out of it, it's still a win and a confidence builder for this defense. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Minnesota. The Vikings capitalize on that turnover and take the lead. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. see it right away he got to his check down in a hurry but Kate here's the key quarterback and running back have to be on the same page the two were right there and then netted some positive yards the game here on second and he'll pick up enough to move the chains it's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back he just keeps those legs turning like a piston in an engine and that effort's contagious this entire offense is getting a boost when he crushed those tackles. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. That's got to be so frustrating for the run. If you're fighting the good fight, you even rip through a tackle to stay afloat. But the blocking can't buy you enough time or room to even get back to the line of scrimmage. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. This coordinator tried to show some trust and belief in his offense. A run after a negative run? Well, you lose a lot of equity and belief in that coordinator. I don't think he's going to try a third run after back-to-back -back negative losses. So the Vikings will try a field goal on fourth down. Will Riker headed out. There's a 44-yard look from the right hash. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that'll push it to double digits in a two-possession game. A dependable kicker. McCarthy looking to throw. He's got it. Room to run. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Second and three now. From the 37. That one falls incomplete. Couldn't make the connection deep downfield. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. They'll motion Jefferson left. Here's McCarthy to throw. And this one falls incomplete. Still 17 seconds left to play. No luck finding his receiver that time. And that'll bring up fourth and three. Oh, and they're going to fake this one. And they'll throw for it. And they don't. One final shot before halftime. He puts some power on a deep one left. 
And a rough play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. We've reached halftime, and it's been an even one. Oh, I guess we could have just kept both teams out here.